Tennessee fighter. He decided to train his mind and body after an unfortunate incident in Los Angeles. A brown belt who's been owning takedowns since 2007. Now, he is bigger, better, and stronger. He walks in a ring as an apex predator with his personal mantra of anyone, anywhere, anytime. Dalawa na pinakasak sa'yo, isa pa lang yata eh. Hindi ka naman nilalabas eh. Kung rin nga sa tipid ng doon na yun, yung tanggal. Kung saan yung nababawas ang kanil. Huwag mong tatanggal yung nagre-record sa tinan. Pindutin nyo lang eh. Pindutin nyo lang sabihin mo para naman.
Tingnan mo daw at nakataas lang ito. Yeah, 
So I'm gonna find a little bit of stuff to show you. Actually, a little bit of the conversation about the actual wall posts and these are really hard to suppress. So that's kind of the problem. These very strange things. They're built in the gravity. Either fighter would have to apply their or their subject. You can see Ivan getting that known with his different hats. Okay, so this is one of those superhero style wardrobe thing that you see out there. Yeah, so we're going to have a red guy. And the fight seems to be ready for some. I 
I would doubt that the geese are from low quality. Uh, the property is just superpowers and that. But I guess with this high level of competition and fighters, like, you would imagine having that kind of people when you just witness a lot of both fighters. And you had a really good way of this to look like a big He was the biggest in all. And he just kept his support of the world around. Like any practitioner of Jiu Jitsu would have this own superpower ability if you were really good in Jiu Jitsu for this game or for that one. So, you know, you're not that good. I can't be able to say that, especially with the practice of these guys. This is so high up in this regime, especially when considering all the things. So, it looks like I just got a balance. The bag is a different color of this guy. Right? This looks like it's. I'm going to spot it. Let's go.